Welcome back to MSK's tutorial on MIL and SIL. In this part, we'll be covering the power window model from the MathWorks. Simulink includes a demo model of a power window in its controller. This can be found in the Simulink Automotive Applications section. In this case, we'll be using the model to demonstrate how to go from an MIL to an SIL. As you'll see in the following slides, we've made some modifications to the original power window model, but essentially it's the same. On the left, you'll see the controller subsystem. On the middle, you'll see the plant subsystem. And on the right, you'll see the user interface, which is called the console in the model. One of the changes we made to the original model is to use configurable subsystems. If you right-click on the controller, for example, and go to block choice, you'll see several selections for which of the controller models you'd like to use. Here, we're looking inside the simple SL controller. On the left, you'll see the preprocessor commands that allowed the driver or passenger signals to go into the main state flow logic in the center. On the right, you'll see a triggered subsystem that checks to see if there's an obstacle in the way of the window. Here, you see the main logic of the controller represented as a state flow chart. The next main subsystem is the plant subsystem. Here, it consists of two integrators to take the acceleration prediction to the velocity and finally to the position. Lastly, you'll see the console model. Here's where we control whether the window is commanded to be up or down from either the passenger or the driver side controls. There's also a toggle switch you see on the lower left corner which enables the obstacle to be placed in the path of the window. Now that we've seen the model we'll be working with, it's time to execute it in the MIL or Model in the Loop framework. For more information, come check out our website at the address listed below.